What if you wanted to get a purple chest in TOA, but the Caridian Pantheon said, Look at this dude. <laughs> I've seen spoon after spoon lately. While I've been stuck here doing raid levels 200 plus, only to get this? Well, I'll show them. I'll show them all. And how, you may ask? Well, if a mascot's not going to take them all out, then I will. And there's only one way to do that. By finding every tree in Gilinor and chopping it down. But before chopping them down, I need to know how many trees are in old school RuneScape? To answer this question, we must first begin where most people would. By asking the internet and seeing if they know how many trees are in RuneScape. In 2015, a user by the name Flare Trail was the first to try and tackle this issue. He first started as many would by also going to the internet and asking for, uh, yeah. And after getting these terrible results, he started to do the deep dive on his own. I recommend going to watch his video to get full context of his scenario, but... He marked every tree on the map by hand and counted his results. And thus, we found out how many trees were in Gilinor. Or did we? Flare Trail did a great job at being able to handle counting the trees on the world map individually. But there are a few things that need to be taken into account here. Firstly, as he mentions in his video, I'm only counting normal trees. Which makes up a big portion of the amount of trees that are out there but that neglects a lot of different trees. Secondly, he only counted trees that are on the world map and not in any subsections of the map where a tree may be hidden, underground for example. And third, he did it in RuneScape 3 in 2015. With that being said, do you think that these would pretty much be the only problems that one would face trying to figure out how many trees there are? But there's some fundamentals we need to confirm before we can even begin. The attempt on this count did quite well. However, are we actually sure that the world map is representative of the amount of trees actually present? With the lessons of this initial trial in mind, let's find out how many trees are truly across Gilinor today. To set some ground rules, I will only be counting trees that are choppable. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Trees that are not going to be counted in this are trees that are planted because that's a dynamic amount of trees and spirit trees because they're more they're more bro than tree bro. To begin, I must confirm that the world map is properly representative in terms of the trees shown versus the trees that are actually in those locations. To do so, I must determine what a good sample size of data is and walk around to find out if that's true. Uh, fuck it. Google says 10% is a good sample size, so we're gonna we're gonna do. 10%. The simplest way to do my 10% will be to just run around Zaya and just see how things are. By counting all the trees in Zaya and comparing them with the map of the region, I can finally verify if the world map will be optimal in figuring out an answer to this problem. Before this count, I decided, what the hell, I'll just do a quick survey of the nearby trees of Zaya where I spawned in in Karin, and the results shocked me. Everything looked fine. I examined the number of trees I saw, their type, amounts seen on the map and minimap. Everything checked out, even though what I thought was a tree on the minimap were actually just plants. I moved towards Hosidius Kitchen, continuing my count, and then found something that surprised me. The icons from this oak and normal tree, they were different. This means that in order to get a correct count, I will really need to commit myself to ensuring that I count the amount from the minimap correctly and look at them correctly. Or at least that's what I thought until I discovered these dead trees uh, at um, this place where what would have been at least 12 dead trees was actually eight dead trees, meaning that one, the icons on the map for the trees do not help in identifying the trees, and two, it's not consistent with the number of trees either. This means that surveying the trees in Gilinor is a futile task, unless you do it by foot, which I'm not gonna do. There's just no way I'm gonna do it. Tombs of a Masket is out, I have a dry streak to keep up. I'm just gonna go to the tombs real quick. All right, maybe I am going to welcome Gilinor into its new carbon hellscape. I decided to start, well, as far left as you can go, which is the farming guild. As mentioned earlier, we ignore all planted trees as the existence of these trees are entirely user-based. With this in mind, every single other tree at the farming guild is actually a fake, not choppable tree. From the exit, we have our first group of trees, three oak trees. From here, I continued pathing around the farm to the south, combing through the grasslands of the farming guild, looking to see how the beginning of the charting will go. The icons for the trees did not help in identifying the trees. However, it seems that for every tree here, 
There is indeed a tree on the map. Just like my findings with the dead tree locations, once again, they were not actual dead trees. In fact, most of the time they were just benches that were used around fireplaces. And speaking of dead trees, if it wasn't for the object highlighting plugin, I would not be able to count these. They blend in together so easily. From here, I moved on to Mount Kurulam, where on the mountain, I was not able to find any trees. However, there were trees near the bottom of the mountain. I continued to move to Forsaken Tower. Moved on and on, faked out by dead tree icon by dead tree icon, until finally making my way to Mount Quidamortem, where I found another problem that we will be facing. Which is, if we should count trees that are inaccessible, even though they are choppable. Trees are clearly found here at the southern edge of the map, that there's just no way to get to. Sure, they're out of bounds, and they're choppable, but do they count? Well, just for the sake of not giving myself a headache, yes, yes, they count. What doesn't count, though, are these fake-ass teak-looking trees. For the most part, though, it seemed like Mount Quidamortem's dead tree count was nearly identical to the actual amount of dead trees there. Not even the stumps count this time. On the other hand, Kevo's Swamp has way too many fake trees. Lake Mulch has way too many fake trees. Like, almost the entirety of the Shazian region is fake trees. There's so much to take into consideration with charting the lands, but I can't forgive my RNG on those purples. I continued on to the Corinne Woodlands, where I think I might have noticed mature juniper trees. Like, the first time in my life? Crazy. Everything in Zaya fell into place quite smoothly, and with that wrapped up, I made my way to Prif, where I didn't know this at the time, but all hell was gonna break loose very quickly. You see, there's two different maps for Prif. And the one I used is a generic one, when I should have just imported the, the good one, because at least the tree representation is probably a little more accurate. But because it wasn't accurate at all on this one, and I was too dumb and lazy at the time to do anything about it, my count in Prif might beat off. Hi, I'm in post. Did I just say it's going to beat off? I'm keeping it, but you know what I mean. And moving south of Prif, I made my way to... Am I really not going to be able to name any of these places in this video? Where the tree representation on the world map is actually perfect, excluding special trees such as the use and magics here. Probably the hardest part of this entire journey so far has definitely been having to count these out of bounds dead trees that make up the entire ditch of the underground pass area. Speaking of changed maps, when I made my way to the north of the Gnome Tree Stronghold, the crash landing area where the demonics are also had a different map, but fortunately this area is so small, it really doesn't matter. I continued facing off with the problems already listed, time and time again, making my way all the way to Fell Dip Hills before I found even a new problem. The tree icons on the, the world map, they're flipped. The, the ones that were the fake trees that I've been seeing and Zaya and everything are now the, the real trees on the world map. And the one that was the real tree icon is now the fake tree icon. Well, it's a good thing I'm counting by hand anyways. That's not to say that there weren't any more issues that I faced going with this. After all, it's hard to find out if these areas where trees are very closely bunched together is actually two separate trees or if it's just one tree because when you highlight it you can only highlight one of them and you can only chop one of them so as much as i want to say that this is two different trees i just have to leave it as one because I, I can't highlight it i can't chop it even though it is definitely the same type of tree but then after weeks of counting i finally had done it I had done all of the normal areas. I had looked at every tree in the world. I had gone to areas I haven't gone to in years, such as Trolley's Mountain and the Crash Island for Monkey Madness 1. I even went to Pest Control and played around to count the trees there. Went to Temporos to find out every tree was fake there. I even rode a canoe just to see the same tree loop over and over again and not even be choppable. I even made it through the darkness of the wilderness, making it alive without a single death by using one forbidden technique to scare away all the PKers. Xanarus had a good bit of trees in it. Varrock Sewers even had two dead trees in it. But am I missing something? Oh yeah, the room crafting altars that aren't listed with the maps also have trees in them. I counted and compiled, counted and compiled 
finally, to end up with a map that looks like this. Yes. Well, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, yes, perfect. Every single one of these dots is a tree, and the color defines what type of tree it is. And if we were to take this and count it using a counting app and blacking out the dots, our map would look like this, which doing efficiently gives us an Excel sheet of every type of tree, how much XP they would give, and how much we would get total. And the results were terrifying. That's right. There were 15,231 trees from my personal count. And with that number, almost a third of them are dead and dying trees. That's only a part of the issue. The other issue is that if you were to chop every tree in Gilinor, you'd only end up with 1.6 million XP. I almost have 10 times that XP. That means I've almost done this climate damage tenfold without even beginning. It's... it's futile. The count was for nothing. There's no point in chopping the trees. We'd already started destroying the world of Gilinor. It's a dying planet. Well, fuck it. I got a dry, strict up hold.